Elijah, Elijah George was a little under-recruited, but there, there were you know several people recruiting him. Uh, Jake Pasarczyk was a guy that just grew a ton. Uh, he was playing a bunch of different positions and then grew up, and so he wasn't he wasn't as heavily recruited, but ended up being hammered uh, here at the end. Well, obviously, uh, positionally, we have a, a need at linebacker, and uh, we have a bunch of uh, guys that are recovering from various levels of. of uh, medical issues here this this winter and spring at linebacker and and we lost three guys that made a ton of tackles you know with, with Kiko Michael Michael and uh, and Dion and so those those guys would, would you know have the that maybe there's less ticks on the depth chart to make but we recruit guys to play we don't recruit guy you know we don't recruit guys as insurance policies we don't, we don't recruit guys to, to fill a you know a need if somebody gets hurt and hopefully this happens and this happens he might get in there we you know we recruit guys that, that hopefully are mature enough and good enough to come in and, and play, and we, we want them to be thinking that because you know right now if they if they have the mindset of I'm coming in red shirt and they're not gonna have a very productive winter, they're not gonna have a very productive spring, they're not gonna have a very productive summer, and then you know they end up those guys end up disappointed, you know maybe get injured because of, of something like that. But I, I don't anticipate that being an issue with too many of these guys. We you know there's a lot of these guys that are that are prideful guys and, and they'll 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 show up ready to go. Is how does any you know any guy deal with that that kind of stuff? And we try to to help them through that and, and kind of bring them back to reality a little bit during during this whole thing. That's the thing about recruiting now is so much of it is you know these guys are told they're freshmen and their sophomore year that they're you know the greatest thing ever in the history of the world by twelve thousand people, and then all of a sudden they're ninth on the depth chart somewhere. That guy you know that guy takes that a lot of different ways. And and uh, Thomas is a, a great kid to talk to. Uh, you know he, he's he's been you know involved at a lot of high levels, whether it's been track and field or, or football, just in terms of competition and and that's why we like those kind of guys they, 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 they compete you know there's a lot of guys that are they're one sport athletes or there's so much specialization going on we, we prefer guys to do a lot of things those guys those guys you know they experience more they, they you know come back in a double overtime basketball game and win against your rival that's invaluable you know instead of just hanging out and lifting by yourself uh, or competing in track and field competing whatever it is there's so many of those life lessons that, that, that go into the whole whole person deal that matter Thank <laughs> you.